Good morning, dear friends. What a beautiful day it is. And I greet you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I pronounce a blessings of his joy, peace and love and his presence to be with you through this day. And let us uh, sit a few minutes in the presence of God, meditating on God's wonderful living word. And today's meditation is centered around the passage we find in the Gospel according to St. Matthew chapter 21, verses 28 to 32. It's a parable of one father and two sons. And by the end of this meditation, understanding, you will understand what these two sons represent. You must ask yourself this question, am I in this parable? Am I one of these two sons? And I pray that the Holy Spirit will help you to evaluate yourself and discover yourself. Now the father asked both the son to do the same job. First he told the older son, son go into my vineyard and work. And he immediately said, I will not. But later he repented and went and did his father's will. Then he went to his second son and told him the same thing. Son, go to my vineyard and work. And he readily agreed. He said, I will, sir. But he never went and did his father's will. Let me explain what this parable is all about. Jesus spoke this parable. He not only spoke this parable, but he also interpreted the, interpreted the parables, parable for his listeners so that they are not left with any kind of doubt concerning what this parable really meant. The man who owned the vineyard is God himself. And the vineyard is the kingdom of God. The work is entering into the kingdom of God and serving God in his kingdom. I hope it is made clear to you. Both the son received the same command. And both the men represent men. Here are two group of men represented by these two sons. The first son represents the non-religious and the worldly people of the world. God is not in their thought. They are lost, but they, the, the tragedy is they do not know that they are lost. And when you do not know that you are lost, you will not do anything about uh, being found or returning to the right way. They are more interested in uh, money and pleasures and indulging themselves with all kinds of pleasure and enjoying their life in their own way. No moral standard. They set their own moral standard for themselves, which very often is not moral at all. Now the second son represent the religious people of the world. Self-righteous who make great professions but no genuineness or reality. They are in the church either from birth or join the church later in life. They make a lot of claims to be righteous. They have a form of faith, but deny the power of that faith to transform them and change them and make them really different than the people of the world. Jesus shocked his audience. He declared man's idea of religion is wrong. First time anyone has told them this. All the while these men were following their own 
religious duties. Religion and righteousness are not enough to enter into the kingdom of God. And that means the first one is religion is not enough. Now, what are the things involved in religion? If you are a religious person, you will go through certain duties, worship, which really is no worship, services, worship services. In worship services, how many of us really worship Him? Now remember my friends, worship is not prayer, worship is not even thanksgiving. Worship is when you have presented yourself totally in, tot in, 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 in all that you are and all what you have to the Lordship of Jesus Christ and you just are satisfied with Christ himself. And that is, the, that is worship. And then ceremonies. So many ceremonies and rituals and observance of ordinances, Christmas and Easter celebrations. That's religion. That's religion without a personal knowledge of who Christ truly is and who God truly is. And entering into a personal relationship with Jesus. And thus a relationship with God the Father, God the Son and God the Holy Spirit. The Holy Triune God to whom we are accountable. And so these, you go through these formalities week after week or month after month. But there is no change in your life and no transformation taking place. To be conformed to the image of Jesus Christ. To be like Jesus. Now righteousness is not enough. So religion is not enough. Righteousness is not enough. What are the things involved in righteousness? Morality, virtue, and law, and rules, and regulations, and good work, and commitment to do certain things, you know, observance of certain fast days, fasting, and all that. But all the time when we go through all this, when we have these things probably in our personal life, we have no understanding of God's will for our life. And my friends, Christ therefore shockingly declared, sinners are entering into the kingdom of God ahead of you. Jesus told these very religious people, What you have is not enough. It takes more to enter into the kingdom of God. The sinners accepted and believed in John's testimony concerning Jesus. You read the, the, the Gospel according to St. John chapter 1 verses 29 and, and 34. And then again the gospel according to St. Luke chapter 7 verses 29 and 30. These verses you please read after the meditation. While the religious people rejected these testimonies and these um, testimonies of both Jesus and John concerning each other. But the sinners and the rejected outcast of the society they readily believed and they were saved and they were entering into the kingdom of God and how about you my friend you claim to be righteous and mostly self-righteousness and self-righteousness, one mark of self-righteousness is you justify every action of yours, whether it is sin or uh, sinful or, or, or bad. You rationalize it. You don't want to accept it. And then you come to church and go through certain duties, like attend the worship service and put to offering and uh, etc. Whatever I have mentioned. 
But Jesus said, neither your own righteousness is not enough, nor your religion is not enough to enter into the kingdom of God. It takes more than being religious and more than being righteous to enter into the kingdom of God. Discover God's demand. Jesus said to bring forth the fruit to show that you are a good tree in the garden of God. May the Lord bless you as you meditate on this again and find out yourself whether you are one of these two sons. And if you are, then it takes more than being a religious uh, man or more than being self-righteous to enter into the kingdom of God. God bless you as you take the step to change. Allow your, 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 uh, your faith to transform you, to change you, to make you a new creation in God bless you.